Hello everybody and welcome to Lauren Loves Color. This is Lauren. Today is the day for me to announce my very first um, tag video. This is going to be the top 10 CBN tag. Um, I tried, you guys know I am a massive, massive lover of color by number. It is my favorite type of book to color in. And while I color a wide variety of things, color by number is just something I always come back to. It is the biggest collection of book types that I own. And what I wanted to do today was to share my top 10 color by number books. I'm going to be tagging people in this video as well. Um, and I want this tag to carry on. I think it's always very interesting to see colorists who've been coloring for a long time. What are their absolute favorites? You hear about the books we color in constantly, um, but that's not always what our favorite books are. Sometimes it's because it's just a new release, or sometimes it's just because it's what's readily available to us, or maybe our favorite book we've already fully completed, and so you don't see it in our collection anymore. And so I thought it would be interesting to see what are the top 10 color by number books that each of you have. Um, and then also to share a little bit of bonus footage. So if this sounds great to you, keep on watching. I'm gonna be going through with you my top 10 color by number books, and I have these ranked in order. Um, when you distribute this tag, you can decide to do it however you want to. If you just want your top 10 favorites in no particular order, you can absolutely do that. Or you can force yourself to torture yourself um, to try to rank them in an order. Um, I will tell you, I ranked these, but if you probably ask me a week from now or even a few hours from now to rank these books again. You may see different books. You may see books in a different order. This was painstakingly horrible for me um, to try to not only pull my top 10 favorites out of probably close to, I would say, I've got to have at least 30, between 30 and 50 color by number books um, to have to try to rank them um, and try to pull just my top 10 favorites. I really, really, really struggled with it. But that's the point of this entire exercise. And so that you can see out of my painstakingly difficult process, what I actually ended up defining as my top 10 favorite books. So let's enough with talking. Let's go ahead and get started. Book number 10. This is the Stone Mosaic book. This is book number two by the Belva family. This is on my top 10 to finish. Um, so I'm actually a decent way through this book, maybe close to halfway. What I love about this book and about this series in general is just the ease of coloring. Um, this is a, this book series is unlike any other book color by number book that I have seen. It has these kind of pebbles that you're coloring that are numbered um, for color by number. And it is, um, just easy. Th th this book doesn't call for you to, to add a lot of stuff to. It just simply calls for you to take marker to the paper, color it in, and it comes up with a spectacular image. All of these are mystery. There's no um, um, answer key in the back. Um, and each book, while it has a different type of cover, you don't really know what you're going to get other than by looking at the back of the book. It gives you a few sample images, but it is a complete surprise. And each um, image inside the book is a different theme so it's not like this entire book is about ice cream or summer you're gonna have all sorts of images with different varieties of subject matter and so I'm always just intrigued by this book because I want to see well what is it that I'm actually going to be coloring today um, what surprise am I gonna get when I color out of this book I love this series I have told Belbo family I love this series they have three books this is the one that I just picked because um, this is the the very first one I own. I do not own book number one, um, but I own book two and three. And um, I've really enjoyed coloring in book number two. So this is this is number 10 for me. Number nine is just another kind of what I think was a kind of a cornerstone into color by number. It, it fit a gap in color by number when these books started coming out by Eclipse Art Books um, that not a lot of color by number books um, utilized. And that is the premium quality paper, that shiny, glossy, like black paper. This is the Circulism Art Books color by number. This is specifically Sea Life. They've released a number of books now. They have a couple of mandala books. They have a new bird book that was just released. They have a, um, a one 
that's called like pop art. And then they have a forest book that's extremely popular. This is the first one that I owned from them. This is Sea Life. And this one I think is my favorite. Um, it has a variety you'll kind of see of different sea animals. This is clearly a buddy color I did with Amanda back in March um, of just like rainbows of color that you use, which number one, I love really bright colors. But number two, it's kind of sea life themed, which usually isn't my favorite topic, but I love the different types of sea animals that they actually used. I'm going to try to find another page that I didn't hear. Yeah, I did this turtle page in here. I think this was one of the very first pages I did for a color and chat that I did about this company. This is a husband and wife that run this company as well. They're just the absolute sweetest people. Um, and I just love... I, I love how the images turn out in this book. They're bright, they're fun, they're colorful. And it was the very, very first time that I ever colored on this premium paper. Now we see a lot of color by number artists um, and illustrators use this paper in their books. Um, but I kind of learned how much of a joy it is to color in this book. Um, and to color on that premium paper with alcohol markers. And so I also love too in this book that these circles are surrounded by black. So you don't have a lot of bleed over um, into other areas if you slightly go out of the lines, which makes it a lot easier and simpler to color in this book. Um, so this is a great series of books, a great publisher. And there's something so therapeutic about just coloring in a circle. I, I, I don't know. I just really, really, really love this book. Um, so this is going to be book number nine. <clears throat> Book number eight for me is a completed book. Um, you will have been, I guess, back in February, probably seen that this book, February or March, I actually completed this book. This was my absolute favorite book by Color Questopia at the time. This is their large print color by number for adults, and you'll kind of see why. Again, there's a little bit of a theme in regards to books that I favorite now that I've kind of done this exercise. This is easy and simple color by number. I really didn't do anything to change the designs here but I love how like even something like this so simple um, turned out to be so colorful but what I really also enjoyed about this book I think this is one of the very first large print books that Color Questopia did um, is the fact that it's a variety of different images so you'll see sea life you'll see birds you'll see flowers there's cats there's just a variety of different um you know subject matters in this book and it just made it really really simple and easy just pick up you know some markers and just kind of go to town so i did a ton in this book it was the very first coloring book as well that i ever completed and so that to me is somewhat sentimental um it's something that that i i just i really enjoyed coloring in this book it really it sat next to me on my desk and i constantly 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 grabbed for it because it was like well i can complete a page in 30 minutes you know if i had some time and coloring is my stress relief and so when I would get stressed, I could pick this up, I could color a page quickly, and it would just turn out beautiful. Um, just nice variety of different colors and images in this book, and I think it's very, very, very well done. So this is number eight for me, large print color by number for adults by Color Questopia, the black background version. <clears throat> number seven, 10, 9, 8, 7. Yes, this is the Lamas Carré's Magiques by Hatchet Lois Sears. This book, I have a, quite a few of these pixel color by number books, and I was trying to determine which one I really wanted to choose. It was between this and the Disney Babies book, but ultimately I came back to this one because I just love this one. This is the one pixel style book that I have. I am not as big of a fan of pixel style books. Um, they're not as much my favorite as some of other books, so a lot of these don't live um, in my favorites, but this one I just can't put down. Um, this one <clears throat> you can get, um, I think off of Amazon, UK, France, sometimes it's available in the United States as well. Um, it's a little bit more of a hefty price, but I love the paper that's in here. It's slightly thicker. And even though it's double-sided, <clears throat> 
I just, I, I love these books. I really like to utilize the dot method. Um, in these books, I use my Crayola Super Tips. What I like about them too is again, the variety of different types of images. You'll see something kind of fun and cartoony and then something realistic. And I mean, for llamas being the subject matter, I think that that lends itself to just being fun and funny in general. Um, but um, I'm gonna show the answer key in the back here. Um, you can just see there are so many fun llama images and some that look like real real pictures of llamas but a lot that are like cartoony and funny and in different styles and I have just fallen in love with this book it's just joyful um it really makes me smile um and I think that's what you want out of a coloring book and so it's a little bit of a mystery I usually try not to look at the back when I color these books or pick a page I kind of have just been going in order in this book but I really enjoy it I really love it and if I have to choose a pixel style book it's going to be this one Number six, this is um, Unicorn Color by Number by Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. Unicorns are one of my absolute favorite, like fantastical type of animals. And Prachi just did a really, really, really spectacular job in this book. This one um, is kind of fun. Not only does she have like unicorns in a more simple um, color by number style, but she said she has these little like kind of fun facts. Like some believe that seeing a unicorn will bring them good luck. Um, unicorn dreams suggest, um, suggest wishing, wishing magic and enchantment in life. Um, like she just has these fun little kind of facts that are on each one. There's like a space unicorn. There's an underwater unicorn, um, kind of a unicorn in a castle. Um, I mean, just unicorns doing everyday things. She has a dragon book that's also kind of themed this way. But when I think about what I like the most, unicorns just speak to me. Um, there's also a page in here in particular, if I can find it. Here's like a birthday unicorn. Um, where is it? It's a unicorn that is like knitting. That's really sweet. Um, Christmas unicorn. Yeah, this one here. I don't know why. This just speaks to me. Um, there's a unicorn knitting, and clearly she's pregnant. And she's got even, like, a little sonogram of a baby unicorn in there. Like, I mean, just, like, how, like, cute and just um, fun is that? I love her characters of her girls. Um, I think they're really, really cute. And I'll show you. This is the one completed page I did in here. And this was just fun and different. And um, I just really enjoyed it. I think this was one of the first pages I ever colored with Copic markers, I believe. Um, and uh, yeah, just chilling, eating a snack, a hamburger and drinking an ice drink. So yeah, you go unicorn. So love this book. I think Prachi did an excellent job with this one. So I'm really happy with this unicorn color by number by Prachi Dewan Sajdeepa. All right. I think we are now into the top five. Yes, we're into the top five. So number five, Another somewhat not as much talked about color by number book that I absolutely love. You guys probably heard about this if you were here from the start of my channel. Heard about this book a lot. I need to bring it out again. This is the Zendoodle color by number, specifically the Play Playful Pets by Jeanette Wummel. Fantastic, fantastic book. There are a ton, a ton of images in this book. I want to say there's 60. Um, you can kind of see. I'll zoom in just a little bit for you to see here a large variety of different images of just really 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 cute pets the paper is the one complaint I think I have about this book in general um this the paper is a little funny alcohol markers act a little weird on this paper so it still looks a little bit streaky even if you're really careful with it um but I just absolutely love the images that are in here also these color by numbers and doodle books usually do have like a number missing somewhere or you know something kind of um um random that might be missing in the page but for the most part you can you can figure it out pretty easily um but like here's another example of a page that I did that I absolutely love I think this just turned out really cute Teo tree markers and stuff work really well in here and then I did this one too like I mean the images are just stunning and then there's even more images in the back of the book 
um, here that you can see. It's just a very, very, very well done book. Um, the other complaint I have about this is just the large, you'll see very, very large color palette. It's 36 colors um, that are listed here on the right hand side. However, it folds out. So like while you're coloring a page, you have your reference for your colors right here, which I really, really love. Or you can even use it to like mark the page that you're working on. The pages are perforated as well. They're single-sided. Um, they're all framed pictures. So I really love this book. Um, this is one that I definitely will continue to color in this year. Um, it takes a little bit more time. They're a little bit more detailed than some of my other Color by Number books, but I absolutely have fallen in love with this book and um, will continue to color in this book this year. All right, number four. Number four, I had to bring out a Sun Life Drawing book. Um, and when I think about Sun Life Drawing, I had a little bit of a tie. It was between this one and between my Christmas um, mosaic book. Um, but this one has just been one that I've really been drawn to. When we talk about fantastical creatures again, mermaids really, really speak to me. Um, I really enjoy coloring mermaids. And so um, this book is their stained glass color by number book. And what I love about this one is out of the stained glass series, I think this is the most simple. Um, you'll see it doesn't really have like a detailed background. And what I really love is the technique that I use in here. This is um, a technique that I saw from um, someone on Facebook where they were using Crayola super tips to kind of outline the area and then using um, crayons to color the inside. And so it kind of creates this almost very true stained glass type of look. Um, and I love it. And because these images are slightly more simple, it really lends itself well um, to being able to complete within a realistic amount of time. So they're just fun. Again, mermaids kind of doing simple or having um, human type experiences. Like she has her hair that's all tangled up. <laughs> There's like a little um, lobster guy down here that's like about to cut it off. Um, you know, just a mermaid chilling in a pumpkin. You know, like just some, just some kind of like fun... Um, just joyful images that really make me smile. I like that there's a wide variety of body types also um, in this, um, you know, in this coloring book itself. And I just find that I'm really drawn to coloring in here and really enjoy coloring in here, probably out of any of my Sun Life drawing books right now. Again, like I said, you ask me a month from now, I may go back to the Christmas book or to a different Sun Life drawing books. I have a lot of Sun Life drawing books I really like, but this is the one that I find myself drawn to the most is their newest book, their Mermaid Stained Glass Color by Number. All right, um, Color Questopia again. Now, I could probably do just a Color Questopia book collection or ranking my Color Questopia books. If you're interested in something like that, comment down below. But I love um, Color Questopia. This one, um, I really, I really want to color in more. And I think this is one of their best releases that they have ever had. This is their interior design color by number book, the black background version. Um, this has been a really, really popular book I've seen all over Instagram. And that's because they are like interior images, but they're all these like fun, funky colors. I did that one and then I've done one more in here. This is a book that I actually set aside to color like just continuously in the month of June. Yeah, I did this one. This was the first page I did um, to color in the month of June and then I never got back around to it. It was because I was so busy and I was so mad because I really wanted to color more in this book. Like the, the images are fun. It's just the right amount of detail detail um in these books um it's just these different places like around homes and I'm not also usually normally an interior design person but it's like okay well this is just a piano but this could be like a neon orange and pink and turquoise um you know looking piano room and that just intrigues me and I love seeing it come to life um so I really, really have enjoyed watching people color in this book. And I really want to get back to this book myself because I find this just really, really fun and interesting. I think if you like, um, what is it? The Sims? Um, I think you'll like this book. Like it's almost just like a, um, you know, interior decorating, um, which is like fun, funky color kind of idea. And so I used to love that game when I was younger. And so I think that that's partially why this book um, intrigues me. So very, very well done by Color Questopia. 
All right, we are in number two. So this one, again, when I look at Kira Shershneva's books, like I have a really hard time because I'm just like, oh, which one's my favorite? And there are multiple that I could have put in here. You guys know I am a huge fan of her Color by Colors Mandala book, which I have completed. And I struggled between the two of these because they really both sit high on my list of my favorite Color by Number books, but also um, sit very high on my just com favorite books overall. This, I know is not a color by number book. Um, it's a color by colors book, but I'm going to count this inside of that scope because it really is very similar. So I think if you're looking at doing this tag, anything even that's like color by symbol, color by colors, anything like that, that kind of has a guide that's telling you where to place the colors is appropriate for this tag. Um, so I definitely can't leave Kira Shershneva out of this. This is the color by colors women's world. I've only completed one page in here, which is this page that I completed for the flip through and I love it. What I did is I opened my Mandela book and I opened this page and I said, what do I like more? And I just simply like this more. I think her books with her characters in them are done so well. This one, I just think with like the ladies, like I love like the chibi style books, like Color Questopia Chibi um, was high up on my list for me. And I almost had that one in here, but I love the characters in this book. And I almost haven't colored in this one because I don't want it to be done. Um, I want to continue to color in this book, but now that she's come out with her country life book, I think it'll inspire me to color in this book a little bit more because I'm like, okay, she has another book with characters that's come out. I mean, they're just beautiful. The women in this book are just simply beautiful. I love that there are different areas around the world. I love that they're so colorful and so fun. <clears throat> It teaches you about culture. Um, it just teaches you about di the diversity of people we have in this um, beautiful world. And I just, I, I, I just absolutely love it. I think she did a spectacular job with this book. Um, this is on that premium paper as well. So perfect for alcohol markers. Color by Colors, Women's World by Kira Shershneva. Last but certainly, certainly not least, and this is one, again, that I feel like can change all the time, but this, like, when I thought about this tag, I had to think about what's the number one book that I want to include in here, what's the number one book that I feel like I would pick up right now, right this instant, out of any of my color by number books, and I would start coloring in, and it's this one. It's Stained Glass Tiffany Windows by Such and Such Diva. This is a color by number book. This is actually his, not his newest released color by number book, but his newest in the series. This is the Stained Glass series. I love the series. I'm so in love with it. I, I so love um, the style of images, this like stained glass mosaic look, but it's so much simpler. I find myself inspired to do different things in these books, color straight with alcohol marker, use crayons, use distress inks, use whatever I want to in this book. I just really, really love it. This one, again, and part of the reason that I love this book too, it's kind of like that large print color Questopia book where it's very simple designs, but then there's like a nice variety of different designs. So there's here like just flowers. There, this, there's this front one that has the um, um, swan on it. This one is more just like regular stained glass and I use my jelly roll glaze like around this. So I was inspired to kind of try something there. This peacock that I did, I kind of colored and shaded with with crayons over alcohol markers here and love that. Um, so there's just a variety of different images. This one, like the interior designs book, it, both of those are in my top three, sat next to my desk and I was so mad I was not able to color in these books um, in the month of June because I didn't want to stop. I wanted to keep coloring in them. Um, his nautical designs book too is very high on the list for me. Um, I colored, I've colored quite a few pages in that book. Um, he has a lot of different book types that I really, really enjoy. And Such and Such Diva by far is one of my absolute favorite color by number illustrators. Um, but this one is very, very well done. Um, and I enjoy it so much. Like, so it's like patterns and different scenes and just, I mean, there's just, you can find something that you like in here, but there's enough variety. His use of color is amazing. And so some of these images that look to be so simple, once you color them, they're just absolutely stunning. And so to me, this book here is my number one color by number book out of the collection that I own. 
and I'm just very, very happy um, with this book, and I hope that Sachin continues um, to come out with the stained glass series because both of the books he's come out with in the series thus far, I've absolutely fallen in love with. So great job to Sachin and Saj Diva on this book, and so that is number one. Well, what would a tag be without a bonus? Um, so we're going to have a bonus. So the bonus for this tag is my favorite colored color by number page that I have ever completed. This was also very, very difficult and depending upon the day could change. Um, color by number pages, um, of course, can be as simple or as complex as you want them and you don't always have to follow the rules. And so I want to see from you what your favorite color by number page is. My very favorite color by number page comes from the very book that I was just um, talking about in relation to stained glass. This is from Stained Glass Nautical Designs by Sachin Sachdeva. This is the first in the stained glass series that he actually released. I fell in love with this book and continue to color in it. And like I said, these books just inspire so much creativity. Um, I really like to do fun, different, and interesting things in these books. And so also, um, coincidentally, at the same time that I obtained this book, I also obtained a large amount of stickles <laughs> um, and uh, really started to fall in love with the use of stickles. And so this, I think, is my favorite um, color by number page that I have done. I remember when I colored this page, I was extremely stressed out and needed something um, relaxing to do. And I colored this page at the lighthouse. And first of all, just look at the beautiful colors in this page. I did not change the colors in this page. I kept to the colors that um, um, that Sachin had requested for this page. And what I did is I did alcohol marker and then I went through with my brush markers and did a slightly large, um, darker color around the edges. Um, in the sky, I used um, some different stickles and different parts of the sky um, just to give it some sparkle. I used a lot of white gel pen to add some details. I even did uh, stickles kind of up here to kind of look like little lights at the top of the lighthouse. I used white gel pen to add details to kind of like the sand and rock. I used some... Um, colorless blender over the rocks here to add some texture to the rocks and I just I just love how this picture turned out every time I look at it it just makes me really happy and so this is my favorite page I think I also did for the water I used some metallic jelly roll um to go around the water and I had originally intended it to be glazed but I I grabbed the wrong um gel pens but I still really like um, just the effect that that gives, the kind of shiny effect that that gives in the water. So yes, so very, very happy with this page. This is my very favorite color by number page that I have ever completed. All right. So I will be back in just a minute. I am going to tag, I'm going to figure out who I want to tag and um, I'll be back to share with you in just a moment. All right, so I'm back. So we're going to tag quite a few people. Um, I just kind of want to get the ball rolling because, and also these are the people that I'd really like to see you narrow down your color by number collection. I tried to pick people that I know have a pretty decent sized color by number collection. Um, if I did not pick you, please feel free, comment down below in the description box or send me a message and I'm happy to tag you formally. Um, but also you don't need to be tagged. If you want to just do this tag yourself, please feel free to do so. Um, the very first person that I'm going to tag is Lara from Hazuma's Playground. Um, I know you have a large collection of color by number books and you like a lot of different pixel style books and things different from me. So I'd love to see what you choose um, for your top 10 CBN. Um, also my buddy Shayna, I just saw you in Orlando and so I'm going to tag you if you have time inside of your just incredibly busy life and moving to complete this tag. Um, also these three people I know have massive collections of color by number books, so I'm so sorry, but I so desperately want to see you do this tag. Lisa from Lisa's Coloring Corner, it's your time. Narrow it down. Top 10 CBN um, books. I'm also going to tag Michelle from Kits and Caboodles. I know you have some color by number books and you have a pretty decent collection that you've been building upon. Would love to see your top 10. 
Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors. You like color by number just like I do and non-color by number too. I'm not saying that none of you like non-color by number, but I know you have a decent sized collection as well. Give me your top 10 CBN. And last, but certainly not least, is Danielle, Danny Buttons. I know that you mentioned recently you wanted to do a tag, so now is your chance. Give me your top 10 CBN and I would love to see you participate in this tag. Um, if you have any questions for me about any of these books, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, I think I have done flip throughs of every single one of these for the most part um, that you can see in my playlist. If not, I'm happy to film a video for you and to show you. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.